Hi Scorpio, welcome to your May 2018 Love and General Tarot reading. I am Gemstone Tarot, behind me is Valentine the sleeping cat. Hope you can see her on the bed. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising for May. I knew you were going to get that card. 2018, which is turning out to be quite an interesting month for all the signs so far. So I'm assuming, Scorpio, that you are going to be no exception. And it looks like you're not. Whew. Okay. Cool. Lots of major arcana for everybody this month. Decent. Now you just had a full moon in your sign, Scorpio, so that's interesting. Wow, okay. Not too shabby. What does Scorpio need to know? Let's have an overall energy card too. That one. You get two. <laughs> Okay, lovely. Scorpio. Some of you are doing your very best to master, rinse, um, cleanse some kind of darkness out of your life is the only way I can put it. Of course we kicked off the month on the 29th of April, at the end of just last month we had that full moon in Scorpio which for you, very significant. Got the devil in reverse. Now the devil represents our shadow side, Scorpio, addictions, ways in which we're controlled and also the ways in which we seek to control others. You know, usually if someone is controlling us, it speaks to our fear of being controlled and also need to be controlled and need to control them. It's like a dance between the two of us. Those of you that have been undergoing issues to do with control, it may stem back to issues to do with your father. We've got the emperor in the middle. And again, that can represent, it is the father of the tarot. And I do get for just a few of you that these things, you may be playing out a pattern in a relationship that is a pattern that comes from childhood. And there is the opportunity this month to do something about that. You, Scorpios are brave. When it comes to the dark stuff, Scorpios are the bravest ones of the Zodiac. And you are brave and you are getting your hands dirty with this. But it is causing you nine of swords, some sleepless nights, some restlessness, some worry. And the advice, Scorpio, is not to get up in your head about it, if you can help it. You are a water sign. You do operate from a deep emotional level. Some of you may be getting the silent treatment from somebody. We've got the eight of wands in reverse. That's the need to hear something, the need to hear message from someone you literally haven't had a message or if you're waiting on an employer and this as well can represent um power struggles with managers you may be waiting to hear job news which may be slightly concerning for you i wouldn't feel too concerned though because the outcome looks really nice really nice The message really here for you, Scorpio, is fortune favours the brave. Okay, that devil in reverse, that emperor. If you're prepared to meet your shadow side head on, and many, many Scorpios are, you will be rewarded by the end of the month, 
okay? Maybe a tricky couple of weeks to start with. There may be like tumbleweeds where there should be information. There is silence. There is miss messages coming in as in you either hear the wrong thing, the wrong information or the right information from the wrong person, the wrong information from the right person. There's some kind of confusion like that, but it will clear up. You get the two of pentacles, juggling. This is like spinning plates, you know? If your life feels like spinning plates and all you're doing is running from one to the other and that one stops spinning and then this one stops spinning and you're like, <laughs> like that. Just keep going, Scorpio. You're doing a great job of it, okay? And the rewards are out there. Now, you get the magician in the upright, thank God. The magician is the alchemist of the tarot and has the ability to turn metal into gold and as above, so below. He's got the cup, the pentacle, he's got the wand and the sword. He can manipulate them in a good way, okay, when he's in the upright. So you have the ability to see your way out of this situation to somewhere positive. It doesn't all just rely on you because obviously there is this missing piece of information. But that will come. That will come. You also have Major Arcana, the sun. Fantastic card, she says, as the sun blasts into the room. Very, very nice card to get. It's a card that promises good luck, radiance, a return to health. And also, if you are in any kind of psychotherapy, if you are looking at issues to do with narcissism or fathers or control or shadow sides or addiction or anything of that nature, it's illumination, it's truth, it's seeing things clearly, it's seeing what you need to see and it's being shown what you need to see as well. Now ultimately as well you get the Ten of Pentacles. This is a nice card. This is a card which promises that you are laying the platform for a solid foundation in the future, not just pie in the sky. You know, this is real tangible results. If you are battling at work, if there is a power struggle, I feel like ultimately you do win that struggle. You do have an ally as well in the King of Pentacles. If this is a work situation, this can be someone in HR, someone who deals with the payroll, or a colleague that's quite high up that can be an intermediary between you and this guy here. This could be a very good therapist if you are doing any therapy to do with father issues too, a good intermediary, even if your father has passed. Some of you, there are issues about a father who has passed away. Some of you are coming to terms with that or you're being reminded of that or you're trying to communicate with him. Again, there is a there is a release this month for you. If some of you have been wanting to communicate with someone on the other side and you want to go to a development group and try that, this would be a good month to do it. And then your overall energy, Knight of Swords in reverse. At first, information is upside down, it's obscure, it's cloudy, it's not on time, it's not what you want. <laughs> and then it turns to the Page of Cups. This can be a love offer. If it is, I would have thought it would be an earth sign or somebody who's reliable. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, somebody who shows up, possibly someone who's quite, because we've got the Ten of Pentacles as well, somebody who is quite um, well established in a job and could be somebody at work who's a bit senior to you or on the same level if you're senior, like someone who's a manager. Nice. So if there's news you're waiting for, Scorpio, don't fret, okay? Don't fret, it will come. It will feel like a much bigger deal earlier in the month than it does in the second half. 
I'm just doing some Chuck Spezzano love cards for you. That one. Wow. Okay. First card you get is the Grace card of joy. This is possible. Whether this is about meeting someone and finding, you know, that real click with somebody, which is possible too this month with the sun and the page of cups. So if you're single Scorpio, get out there, get dating, get online, whatever it is that you get. But also this is if you are in, for some of you, I get some kind of therapy, there is joy on the other side of it. You get cynicism and this is a call not to let any cynical fears or feelings from the past colour any new relationships, okay? What happened in the past and what someone did to you in the past does not need to be an indicator of how other people will behave to you in the future. If it's the same person, hey, maybe, you know, leopard doesn't usually change its spots. But if it's a new person particularly this King of Pentacles, they have the potential to be very, very different. And then you get the healing card of giving oneself. This is someone who can give to you equally, reciprocity, unconditional love, like you can give to them, Scorpio. Let's have an Oracle card for Scorpio, please, for May 2018. just pop out oh Scorpio you get happy happy lovely card okay really promising I think it's more towards the end of the month I think you've put the work in on this I think as they say on Star Wars that you've been and had a look at the dark side you've been brave enough to kind of traverse the waters down below you know in the subconscious or you've tackled somebody who's had quite dark behaviour and you do come out on top. Scorpio. Romance. And the Page of Cups and the Sun. And Happy Happy. If you're in a relationship that you've been struggling with, it looks like it can either, you can end it and meet someone else, or it can look up. If you're single, definitely get your lucky pants on, okay? If you want a private reading, Scorpio, you can book in the description box below. Do subscribe and share the video and I'll see you soon. Namaste.